Hello everybody, we are ready for our first set of notes in unit six. So go ahead and flip to our table of contents page. Now, this table of contents is on page 55, and remember we put important stuff on 56, so our first set of notes is actually gonna go, going to go on page 57. And the title of this, you might wanna write a little bit small, is Measure of Center. And there are two that we really talk about in Algebra 1, and it is mean and median. So mean and median. Those may sound like familiar terms, and they should be, because this is a really important standard in the sixth grade. So you should have, in the sixth grade, talked about mean, median, mode, and range. These are just the two that we talk about in Algebra 1. So once you get that written down, this is what the notes look like. It's the same, so I'm going to cut it in half and tape it down on page 57. So I need you to go ahead and do the same for me. Now that we have those taped in, we're going to go ahead and start with our notes. So measure of center, we're talking about mean and median. Again, these are topics that you cover in the sixth grade, but it's been a while, so it may be a little bit foggy. So there are a couple definitions that we need to get before we can actually do some practice problems. So we're going to start with the mean. So the mean is the blank of the values that is going to be sum, which remember sum is addition. So we are adding all of the values up in the set and dividing by the number of values in the set. So here, here's that same definition, just a little bit easier to understand. You add all the values up and divide by how many there are. This is also called average. That's the word that we see or hear more often is the average. So mean and average, they mean the same thing. You just add the numbers up and then divide by how many there are. Median is the blank value in the set when the values are arranged in numerical order. This is going to be the middle. Now, the reason or how I remember median and middle is because when you're on the interstate, that strip of land that's in between the interstates, that's called the median, and that's in the middle. That's how I remember it. Kind of lame, but it works for me. Okay? So now I've just got two practice problems for us to actually, like, practice together. So, the first one. The number of text messages that Isaac received each day for a week is shown below. So, we're looking at these seven numbers, and the first thing that I need to do is find the mean or the average number of texts that he receives in a day. Now, average, remember, was just add all the numbers up and divide by how many there are. The biggest mistake that I see kids make is they miss a number. So make sure that once you type it in, maybe you cover it up, mark it out, do whatever you have to do so that way you do not miss one. So I have it all typed in. This is how many texts that he has sent or received in one week. He had 350 text messages sent to him. So now the only thing left to do is just to divide that by seven. And that's how many he receives in a day on average. So our mean or average is 50 texts per day. Super simple. Okay, and then the next thing that we need to talk about is the median. Now, in order to actually do the median, and it set it up here in the definition, the numbers have to be put in numerical order. So numerical order just means from smallest to biggest. So when I look at this, these numbers are not already in numerical order, so that means I need to arrange them that way. So what I do is... I'll start with the lowest number, 47. Once I use it up there, I mark it out so that way I do not write it again down here. And you just keep going until you've used all of the numbers. But please make sure that you take your time, you mark them out so that way you do not miss them. Because if you miss one, the whole thing is wrong. 
There we go. So there are my seven numbers written out in numerical order. Looks good. So now I'm going to show you how to find the median. Because your sixth grade teachers may have shown you a little something different. You can mark them out, one on each side every time. But what, and, or you could cover them up with your fingers. That's another way that I see kids do it. But the way that I always taught myself was I underlined them. So that way I could still see the number if I needed it. But you do one from each side until you get to the middle number. And that middle number is going to be your median. So we got 49. And there you go. That's all there is to this. Take a look at number two. So number two talks about Paul. He recorded the following golf scores in his last eight rounds of golf. And so then I've got eight numbers. Those are scores that he got in a round of golf. So again, we're looking for mean, which is the average. That's what we'll take care of first. So grab your calculator again. Use your calculator to your advantage on this one. And again, just make sure that you do not skip one. So there are all of them typed in. So he has 708. So now I'm just going to divide that score by eight to get his average. So 88.5. So it's 88.5 per round. So that's the average score that he's gonna get for a round of golf. And now we need the median. And again, when I look at these numbers, they're not already in numerical order, so I need to fix that. So just start with your smallest number and remember to mark it out so that way you don't use it again. There we go. So there are the eight rounds of golf that he had. I put them in numerical order already. So now I'm gonna do my little trick to where I can find the median. So I'm gonna mark one off from each end. But remember, I always underline them because I want, still wanna see those numbers. But this time, I have two numbers in the middle. So it doesn't come out to be just one number. I've got two numbers. I still need to find the median though. So your textbook like for real way that you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to find the average of those two numbers so it's 89 plus 90 divided by 2 and it gives you 89.5 however i have a little bit easier of a way at least in my head it's easier when you have two numbers that are side by side like this you're looking for the middle of those two numbers you're looking for the middle of the two numbers regardless but in this one, since they're only one number apart, you know that, that halfway, like the 0.5 is there. So the median is just 89.5. But if the numbers aren't that close together and it's not that easy to see, then you can do the average on your calculator and you'll get the same thing. And here are our final answers. Now, hope that was not too terrible for you. You've talked about mean and median in sixth grade. I just needed to bring it to your attention again. Good job today, and I'll see you next time.